Hi, this is Mark from ComicSumo.com and in today's video I'm going to talk a bit about why I decided to create a webcomic. So comic books are uh, have been you know part of uh, modern culture for a very long time. You could even say the uh, earliest forms of human communications was a comic book with cave paintings. Uh, then of course you have the hieroglyphs in, in Egypt. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to go that deep in, into this, but uh, um, but my point is that you know comic books have been around for a long time. I mean, even Batman and Superman, who are the two most you know well-known characters, uh, you know, have recently been past their you know 70, 75 years in existence. Uh, so, uh, but really, when I think about comic book, is that when you start, uh, you know, sometimes people, the professionals. Uh, they don't like that term comic book because uh, comic in, implies comedy, meaning just gag strips and funny stuff and you don't take things as serious. And, and the fact is that the, the, the uh, medium itself, as with like novels or uh, uh, movies, can cover the whole range of human emotions. Uh, so it doesn't have to be just something silly or something funny or something fantastic like a Superman character. It can, it can be just a slice of life story. Uh, in fact, in Japan, uh, part of reason why manga is uh, uh, very, very popular. It is the uh, form of literature for Japan, and uh, the uh, and the first probably person to really talk about sort of the comic book uh, medium seriously was a guy named Will Eisner. Uh, I'm not sure when I guess I think it was about in the 50s. Anyway, Eisner he created this comic strip called uh, The Spirit. Uh, which is kind of a precursor or related to, to Batman or uh, but anyway he talked about he says instead of thinking about comic books and calling them comic books we should call them sequential art implying that the fact is that each the, the panels telling story but it's not just uh, 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 it's not just in one pan it's not just in one panel it's not a piece of art like where you're going to a museum and saying well look at that Rembrandt or Van Gogh where it's just that one piece by itself. It's really an idea. It's got to tell a story and it's got to tell it in sequence. So, uh, so that was the idea again, because I really wanted to be a storyteller. I like telling stories. I like, uh, um, I love movies. Um, and, uh, but I, and I love comic books. So, but now here we are, we're in 20, I'm recording this in 2016. Uh, and this is the age of the internet. The web is fully, you know, uh, fully part of our life. Uh, as part of my day job, I have to really keep up to date with technologies. And I know, for example, in China, there's people who are f basically farming the same way we've farmed for hundreds of years, almost Stone Age-like, but yet they have smartphones. Uh, so when I started thinking about, you know, I want to create my own comic, well, how do I want to distribute it? So, uh, now, there's a lot of different ways to do that. You could print it, could make it in print. Um, uh, I could also push it into something like uh, digital form on Kindle or Comixology. But for now, what I'm pushing on is actually looking towards the webcomic format. Uh, I will host it on my own site and then uh, probably distribute it in a few other places. Now, the reason for this is, again, the fact of the matter is, is that it's... Uh, is that I view the comic as a way uh, to just build an audience. And from there, I will be able to uh, make money uh, on top of it. Now, again, I, I'm not viewing this as a get-rich-quick scheme. I'm hoping at some point I'll make, at least make enough money to, to support the hobby, the hosting fees, uh, art supplies, uh, so on, maybe uh, lunch. Uh, but I'll, I would be lying if I didn't say I didn't have a dream of this becoming maybe my next career and becoming a full-time job at some point. Uh, but, but to do that, uh, you have to make sure it gets in front of an audience as much as possible. Um, and, and this is a tangent there. I think this is kind of fantastic. This is actually the approach Andy Weir, the guy who wrote the novel The Martian that the movie with Matt Damon was based on. Now, Andy had no desires to really become a full-time novelist or that. It was, it was really just for fun, apparently. Like he, he, too, was also an, an IT. I think he was a programmer. And he liked his job, but it was really kind of just doing this for fun as a hobby. And, and, he, and he just and got into many people's hands and then you know became a, an international bestseller and 
and the rest is history. So I'm kind of thinking the same thing because I'm being more intentional. So anyway, my idea here is to make it a web comic. I want to uh, put it in as many people in front of people's hands as possible. Uh, I'm also wanting to use it as a way, uh, possibly I may also be give me a, a reason to try out some new technologies, uh, which may just, for example, feed back into the end of the day job career, maybe getting more opportunities there. Uh, but anyway, so the web comic is, is a format. I think it's, uh, what, uh, all artists who are going to particularly do an independent art these days, uh, independent, uh, car comic books or sequential art, they should be really focusing on doing as a web comic, uh, making it available as freely as available. Do not think about the web comic as the way you're going to make money. It's just, it's almost like a form of advert, not almost, it is a form of advertising. It's uh, an advertising space. We would call it the lead generation. Um, uh, it's really that's the idea is you're going to give it something out there to build an audience and then once you have an audience uh, then you you know other opportunities uh, will present itself uh, whether it could be a, something as simple like for example in my case I'm gonna push sell hopefully sell some t-shirts and mer other coffee mugs and stuff uh, but then there may be uh, other materials on top of it so for example as I told friends I said look you know, Marvel and DC continue to sell comic books, but really they make all their money selling t-shirts and action figures. Even the movies don't make the money that uh, the, all the merchandise that they sell around it does. So that's the idea behind the webcomic. I uh, appreciate you for watching. Uh, for my friends who are on the uh, fans on the Facebook group, thanks for, for watching there and participating. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, I uh, would love for you to come on over to the and have and join the fun the Facebook group uh, where I share artwork and uh, fanical, uh, fantastical stories I see of the week like uh, UFO, UFO sightings and Bigfoot uh, plus of course share uh, they're the first to know when when new issues of the webcomic go live uh, and the link for that will be below uh, this video again thank you for watching until next time.